Right. I think um, I've done, I'm done. Like, <laughs> okay. I so feel like, like I'm you, making terrible mistakes, but yeah. we've we'll both go. been quite conservative with the fighters. You've committed your bomber wing, yes. And your fighters are like sort of pairing up against my fighters, but no one's engaged yet. Yeah. Um, it's looking kind of bad for your your uh, Mon Calamari cruiser with the two guys bearing down. Mm. Um, and we'll have to see if the Nebulon can face off against the bombers on the radar. Um, not. So you gain a victory token. Yes, because I've got controlling the station for a turn. And right. then we move into round two. So right, so sh at the end of the ship phase, we redo all the dials, Redo right? the dials. Now, remember, Leia's got a cool rule, mm. which is worth keeping in mind. That's what I've just been thinking about, where she can give, basically, she can change another ship's command dial to the dial. To match her, her dial. dial. Yeah. So the Corvette can set its dial every turn. It doesn't yeah. have a stacked to worry about. Yeah. So if you ever feel like you've got the Mon Calamari Cruiser's order wrong, yeah. you set Leia's order to the one you want, activate Leia first, and give the order over. Yeah. Oh man, there is. I'm going to get the handicap out because there is something. This is what made me start playing this game. Was I saw a it's demo. It's so lineup, cool, isn't it? Like the like, whole setup. Look at this. Like we've got here. We got the Y-wing squadrons bearing down. Can we get a cooler shot? Like, the Imperial Star Destroyers moving in to capture the station, but they call that in the squadrons are uh, coming in for a bombing run. They're trying to delay it. It's like slow down that Star, Star Destroyer. Destroyer. We're so not in position. Soften it up before the cruiser engages. Yeah. This is actually, it. it's what got me into X-Wing miniature as well. Like, X-Wing is the more dogfighting star game. Yeah. But like that moment where if you've got like a really nice board all laid out with the asteroids mm. and you know, you have the little TIE fighter like nipping in <laughs> yeah. and then somebody's coming in the side. I love that. Oh, there's something about the smaller scale. The smaller the miniature, <laughs> the, the, the more, more You're an fun. epic guy, aren't you? I you love tiny epic. things. Um, make of that what you will. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm I'm a skirmish guy at heart. I've always been a skirmish gamer. Give me like four or five really cool miniatures in like small yeah. scale, like squadron based stuff. I'm like, oh, oh man, yeah, the exact opposite. More, more is better. <laughs> more, more things, bigger like, things. Yeah, I mean, X-wing is a cool game, but look, I've got nine X-wings here, <laughs> and that's not even I know like, a I know. small part of the whole thing. <laughs> cool, right? So now we're on right. to turn two. Yes. Um, I'm gonna activate first. Yeah. Oh, I've got some tough decisions. Oh no! First of all, Grandma Tarkin kicks in. And he's telling all ships to support the squadrons this turn, um, which means all my ships receive a squadron command token. One for the Star Destroyer, one for the Victory. Now, the Gazanti's going to receive one, but that means he overwrites the navigation order he had last time. Okay. Because he can only hold one token at a time. Yeah. Same for the Raider. He's going to lose his token, but he's going to gain... Squadron. Squadron token. So you have to give them all the same one. Yes. Okay. So I could, pick... at that point, have chosen to keep the Navigate and ditch the new token. Mm -hmm. Um, but I wanted the squadron yep. token. Got ya. So, oh, so I've got a tough decision here. Like I could, I could activate one of my big ships. Yep. And send in the Tie Fighters. Yep. Okay. Is it bad that I've actually forgotten what some of the dials I said <laughs> at the beginning of the game? You I'm can like, look at them at any time if yeah. you need to remind yourself. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, oh, before we do anything, I need to tell you, um, Han Solo. He's a cool guy, right? He can activate, can't he? He can choose to activate the very start of the turn. And take his turn first, because as we all know, and Han he shoots, first. shoots first. And he can move and attack, right? Like yeah. he's not bound by squadron rules. No, he basically activates oh. himself. He's a rogue squadron, which means he can move and shoot on his own. And he's got a speed of three. Yeah. I think I have to do that just because it's cool. <laughs> right. Like it's probably not optimal what I'm about to do, but, but it's his it special is rule. Cool. <laughs> right. uh, so yeah, I am actually going to activate Han, um, cool. and we're going to send him in. So he's got a movement of three. Oh yeah, watch this. God, I keep doing this to poor Han as well. I keep knocking him <laughs> so off his got little a loose base. Peg, isn't he? We're going to kind of send him up here to engage these two. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm going to be quite dangerously close to these transports, but Han can take it. Sure. So um, he slides his slider over. Oh yeah, and now I'm going to shoot uh, at one that of these squadrons. squadrons. Yep. Cool. So Han, yep. His squadron stuff is two blue dice and two black dice. Dice cam, first roll of the game. It's gonna be terrible. That's actually not awful. So that's um, so criticals don't count for squadrons. They don't, and neither do accuracies. Well, they do if I had defense tokens. Yes, but which regular you tie do. fighters do not. So you've done you've done two damage. Um, and no, nope, I don't have any special things, but I do do two, two damage. But, and and tie ties only have three. three. So that ties down to one health. You basically okay. killed two of the wingmen and the it's squad just leader. The last remains. one left. Um, now Han does have uh, defense tokens, which mm. is kind of why I've moved him a bit forward. He's very he tanky. Can, he can be a bit quite tanky because mm. he can brace twice. So and he's tied these squadrons up now. That's that. That was my idea: is that I wanted to tie those up because I know it's so easy for them all to just start swarming. And even mm. if they go for Han, 
that then maybe frees yeah. up the other X-Wings to come in and deal with the, the squadron. So now if I want to go for your bombers, I can send these ones off, but those, but those two, two are locked down by yeah. hand. I mean, I figured that you'd move them over a little bit anyway because you're kind of mm. keeping them a bit separate, but yeah. Well, what I was hoping for these guys was to lock Engaged. those guys down and let my bombers commit. Yeah. But no, yeah. hands, hands tied up the ties. Don't get khaki, kid. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. my advice to myself. It's <laughs> <laughs> good advice. Yeah. I'm going to do my, uh, my carriers. Okay. And I'm going to do squadron command. Yep. I'm going to spend my squadron token, giving me a total of three squadrons I can activate. Yes. So you do this first before you activate the ship. Um, I'm going to send in the bombers into the weak flank of your nebulon. Mm -hmm. The first one's going in up to speed four. I'm going to drop him here. Oh, yeah. And they roll a single black dice for their, their tie bomb. Do you want me to hold that while you roll? Okay. There you go. Boop. It's a hit. It's one hit. So that Keep takes off shield. Mm -hmm. And we send in the second bomber. And then this is the finish, the attempt to finish it off. It's a miss. Yes. So not, Luck. Not the greatest <laughs> tie, bomb, tie bombing run, but nope. it's a start. I've taken the shield down. Yes. So I'm going to activate this tie photo who's on one health yes. and get him to shoot before he dies. Okay. That makes sense. He can't do anything except shoot Han Solo. Yep. And he rolls three blue dice. Oh. So he's rolled two crits, which don't count for damage against fighters. Yep. And an accuracy. So you, you <laughs> could lock out a brace, though. Um, oh, it would only be for this purpose. You don't actually lock yeah. out the defense die, do So you? what I'm going to do is, because I've got another friendly TIE squadron oh, that you can be engaged with. Ties have Am I engaged with it? Is it within one? Oh, you said you wanted to engage them both. I don't know if I did. I got the first one. Yeah, you're in, yep. you're in range one. Nice. So okay. Because you've got, you're being swarmed by yep. two or more ties, I can re-roll one of them. And you, and you keep the... Yeah. Oh. Ah, two accuracies. Oh, so very ben. accurate fire, very but not enough of it to actually cause any damage. It's punked you a bit. It's bouncing off the deflector <laughs> shields, shall we? Come on. So um, next up is the, the transports. Uh, they've got a medium range on their, their guns. Yep. So I'm not in range of your nebula. But? But I can do a short range AA fire at Han and no one else. Yep. So I'm going to give Han one black dice of anti-squadron barrage. Sure. It's a hit. It's a single hit. So Han's defense tokens let him halve incoming damage. But it would always but go it would to always one, round up. so I'll just take the so one. No off point. Han. Yeah. So uh, uh, his dial here, he started on seven, you. he's now down to six. He's down to six, so he's taken a plink. Yeah. I did think that that might be a risk. But, um, but he's, he's pretty tough, he can... Yeah, I'm hoping good. as well that if I continue moving him at the start of the next turn, I can kind of get behind some of those ties. And, and now, now I'm you move. Drive up. So I have to stay at speed three, because I don't have a navigator. Yes, yes, yes. So the annoying thing is these, these transports, they're not allowed to turn at the end of their yeah, movement. Things, so they're quite sluggish. Yeah, I'm gonna go here, lock that in. Locked. There we go. Great. Carriers are moving up. Keep pushing those bombers in. Okay, mine? Mm-hmm, your turn. I am gonna activate the, the nebula, actually. Mm -hmm. And I, he is a squadron command. Ah, okay. Um, so he can activate up to two squadrons. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's blue because we're on orange, aren't we? Yeah, so yeah. orange. this turn, orange means... God, I almost thought, yet. I was like, oh God, have I done this wrong? Like, have <laughs> yeah. I activated those guys? No, I've, I've done okay. So this turn, the orange squadrons are good to go. The blue ones have already been. So, uh, can I fly through my own ships? Yes, as long as you don't end your move touching. Well, you can touch them, you can't overlap them. Okay, That's perfect. So I'm going to move this guy to mm -hmm. swing in about here and engage uh, these bombers. Okay, so um, um, they can shoot. Shoot, and X-Wings have uh, four blues. Yeah, pretty good against other squadrons. You need to take down those bombers and protect the frigate. Oh! Oh! Four damage! <laughs> but bombers are a bit tougher. Bombers are tough, they have five hit points, but this guy's Still. down to one health. Well. Oh my god. Then we're gonna have our second, because uh, we've got a command, we've got a squadron of two, mm -hmm. so I can activate my other thing. Okay. So now this is tricky. Do you want to go? I'm gonna all... try and finish him off. Okay. Because I feel You're like. I'm gonna get greedy. Dice rolling. Is a really hard thing, <laughs> and also concentrate firepower is like the number one piece of advice that I'm always cool. constantly told. So, yeah. Ooh. Well, that's it's literally the one, one hit, hit, which is what we needed. Perfect. No overkill oh. required. Two X wings splash oh. those tie bombers pretty hard. Um, Ammo. That worked out brilliantly. Okay. <laughs> Uh, good job, X-Wings. Good job, X-Wings. And now, the Nebula itself gets to shoot. 
So, so you get to take two shots each turn, yep. but can't shoot from the same point twice. I'm not going to use Akbar's ability, which mm -hmm. would mean that I could only shoot from the two sides. Although, yeah. no, I mean, there's I could well, a Akbar only works against ships. Against ships. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to fire with the front arc into mm -hmm. your cruisers. Yeah, my transports. And, and I'm actually, I mean, it doesn't really matter which side I hit because you're weak on... They were equally, equally terrible on all sides. <laughs> could I still shoot at these bombers with my AA guns from the side? Yes. Perfect. So we're going to do that. I'll do the bombers first. Okay, so the, so the he's escort frigate's pretty good against shooting fighters. It rolls two blues. Two blues. Which is high for a ship. Uh, he's landed I a mean, hit. that's a hit. So we'll take a bit of plinky damage. So what kind of defense die do you have on the... Uh, so the gazanti has got a unique defense die that no other... Well, only like flotillas they're called. Which yeah. are the light transport So little ships. ships that can spread out. They've they have a scatter, scatter token. Which so, means if you don't roll an accuracy... I basically do nothing. You basically do no damage. Because I can spend this token to cancel your attack. Yeah. Uh, so they're very hard to hit with um, without accurate fire. But obviously if I spend this multiple now, times, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Okay, well here we go. I'm going to roll mm -hmm. these three. Uh, so I've got the accuracy mm. and... And one damage. One damage. So you can spend that accuracy I to mean, lock out my token if you'd like. I'm not going to do anything else with the ship, so yeah, I would do. Sure. And then I'll do the one damage. So you deal a damage. Were you shooting the um, side? Uh, I would be shooting probably at the side, yeah. Because yeah, I'm side. thinking I'm going to try and get some... I have another token in. called evade. Yep. But that's not effective at short range. Short range. That's why I was checking it, because I knew you had mm. the evade there. Okay. Great. And mm -hmm. then I've got a move. Mm -hmm. So the nebula is going at two, speed two, mm -hmm. um, which is a little bit annoying. So I didn't really want to get it on its side. But he does have a navigate token. Oh, that's can, true. I can lower can his speed change, to one. Can spend his I? token that he got last turn to which go I up will, or down. Which I speed. will do that, and I will go down to speed one, which I know will make me a bit slower. But I feel like we're going to have some close engagements here. So he's basically going to go like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm also going to try. So I'm trying to use these ships to try and protect me a bit from this cruiser if I can. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to work, but that's the Let's idea. Let's find out. Let's find out now! Okay, my turn. I'm going to move my radar. He's on a navigate order. So I really, what I'm trying to do here with my radar is get into the side where the TIE bombers have already weakened yeah. it. Yeah, and also this ship is so weak on its sides anyway. Mm. He is super weak on the sides. Long mm. boy. I think that is pretty damn good. That's pretty great. That's a real broad siding. Turn around here. I think what I've managed to pull off is what's called a double arc. Yep. Oh, I for sure. My front and side are both have firing arcs on you. So here's the, yeah, there you go. Look, we can see here with this laser that my front can see your side and yep. my side can, can see, see your side. side as well. Oh, well, so your side could also see my front if it really wanted to. But your front's much tougher. I'm you know? just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I want to snap the long boy's long stick. <laughs> It's the dream. But that's at the end of the turn, because you had to move first. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I had the chance to shoot, but I was definitely not in range. Yeah. Um, so I didn't even bother measuring it. So um, potentially, depending on what I do next turn, mm -hmm. you might activate him first and get those shots on, but I could also try and shoot past, like depending on the activation. Yeah, definitely. So what we need to think about here is, if you put me into a position where, where you have to I want to activate one of these first, that, that could, could buy the that. nebula on a chance to get away before the raider can yeah. shoot. Yeah. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I think I want to move the big boy. Well, remember, if Leia wanted to change an order, you'd have to ch do Leia first. Oh, because you have to have it. It needs to be revealed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll, remove, we'll move Leia then, um, who is... Uh, it's a navigate. Mm -hmm. um, she is currently speed two. So at this point, you have to decide if you're going to use, use Leia's a token. Order. Does Leia want to give oh. someone else a navigate order? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I can change that now, right? Yeah. Yeah, basically, when you reveal Leia's order, someone else can copy oh, it. see, maybe I don't need to use it. Yes, I do, because I think I want the other thing on there. Okay. Uh, so, on her turn, mm -hmm. so it was a navigate order, mm -hmm. um, which I am going to... Now, do we count as overlapping the station? Can we slam into the station? Yeah, you, don't, you can't ram the station. You can't um, ram it, so it's, you can just hover next to it, I'm guessing? Yeah, so basically you sort of like dock with it or go near it. Okay. It's fine. That's basically, good. for this battle, the station is merely the place where you go to get objectives. Ignore yeah. it for all other purposes. Well, well, I don't think I can shoot or anything, or I might be able to shoot you some can of shoot. these you ties. Got, you got some long-range guns. You've got, um, you got red dice. Some red dice. In fact, actually. So if you look here, you've I actually, actually start you've got a double arc on. Yeah. You can shoot me with your front and your side into the star destroyer. I might as well. Um, what are the range is? So we're not at medium range. So I might as well get some shots off. Mm -hmm. So you never know. We might be able to do some damage. 
So I've got two red dice from the front. Now, while attacking, you may spend one evade defense token to change one red die to a face with a critical icon or two hit icons. Mm. So I could now, spend one I'll of the evades. That card, the way it's written mm. right now, is going to let you use it on both of your attacks. Yeah, because you it's while attacking. You could spend an evade on each one. But they re released uh, an errata mm. quite recently. Oh, really? That now rewrites that card to say, when you do that, exhaust this card. Yeah. So, so you're so going to use it once per turn. That's yeah. fine. Um, to be honest, the evade tokens, I think I'm going to be in You're gonna short need, range. You're going to need one. <laughs> I'm probably going to need one. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, we'll just attack into the big boy. Into the front of the Star Destroyer. Front of the Star Destroyer, two red dice. Pew, pew. So hit an inaccuracy. So what things do you have? So I have for defense tokens, I have a contain, which is kind of irrelevant, because that's when I start taking hull damage. The contain can prevent critical hits. Mm. So you don't need to worry about that one yet, because I've got a lot of shields. The other ones I have is a brace, yep. which will halve incoming damage. Yep. And the other two are both redirects, where I can spread the damage to a different shield. Do you know what I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. I think that... because so you've rolled an accuracy the, and a hit. Using the accuracy, it doesn't exhaust the defense token. It just no, prevents me using it on this attack. Using turn. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spend one of these evade tokens mm -hmm. to flip this accuracy into two hits. So you're using your turbo laser reroute circuits yep. to give up some of your defense to improve your to attack. To improve your attack. And now you're doing three damage. Because I figure that you're, you're likely to be the brace or redirect. Mm. And if you brace, you're still going to take two because it rounds up. Yeah, the that, better move. that makes some sense. It makes it makes some sense, yes. And then I've still got the one evade if I need it. If I use the brace now and I end up over here and get shot by the big boy, yeah, that's that's sad times. I need my brace. So I'm going to save my brace. Okay, so you're just going to take um, this straight up. I'm three. going to take three damage. I'm going to redirect it. Yep. Make sure that I got. So I'm going to it's very much a game about yeah that kind of like forcing you to either do something you don't want to do or you know putting yourself in disfavor putting the opposition in a disfavorable position exactly it? it's all about forcing your opponent to make difficult decisions yeah so i've taken one shield off the left and yep. two shields off the front means that it has no shields on the left now. So yeah because of the debris field it's taking quite a lot of damage now okay okay um so that's your front shot you've got your side as my well. side shot is just one single red die mm -hmm. which is a hit we'll take a hit um, and can I, I couldn't, no, I have to target the front though, no, there. Yeah, so I'll just take another hit on the front. So I've got one shield left on the front. Yep. So we're just pummeling away its shields, mm, trying to weaken it down. Taking, taking a lot of damage now. Um, and now it's its movement. Mm -hmm. It is going at speed two. Um, and I'm just trying to think now. At speed two, I get two clicks on the final one. Mm -hmm. but remember, you have a navigate order. It's true. You can um, increase or decrease your speed and add, you can add, add, add a turn. Click. Yeah, I think I'm going to increase the Corvette speed up mm -hmm. to three. And I bring it okay. like that. Yeah, that's cool. Although you are kind of blocking your ah, oh, damn it, your yeah. big boy there. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done it now. Okay, I'm going to move my uh, my victory class. Mm -hmm. He's doing squadron commands, and he's going to spend his squadron token to increase his squadron from three to four. Four, damn. Four ties coming in hot. Yep. Um. Oh, I've messed up. Whoops. I forgot to. You meant to send Hellrunner in first, so they all get the benefit. Uh, so this, I sent this guy in without Hellrunner's support. So he doesn't have, so the, he doesn't have the benefit. benefit. Oh well, um, so he can shoot that nearby uh, Y-Wing. Yep. And he's going to land two hits. Okay. Two so hits on the Y-Wing. Y-Wing goes has six two. hull, goes down to four. Yep. And then I'm going to shoot the damaged Y-Wing. Yeah. Um, and I can reroll one of these misses. Because you've got, I've got a swarm. Of, yep. of ties now. So it's still only one hit. One hit, so it goes down, down another point. Three. All right, now I'm going to send in... This tie, this tie is going to get right in close to you. Um, so that means that he will count as heavy. Yes, yeah, so the Hawk is a support ship. And what it does is it makes enemies within range one of it count as heavy. Mm -hmm. Heavy fighters do not count as engaging Gaging. their target. So if that Hawk wasn't there, mm -hmm. these Y-Wings would have to sit there and fight these ties until mm -hmm. one side died. Mm -hmm. But the Hawk lets them move away and attack captain Can the ships. Hawk itself move away as well? Yeah. Yep. So I can reposition the Hawk to add heavy to everything else. So the exactly. Can fly so my off. job at this point now is to try and spread the ties out so much that, that you can't, can't make them all, all heavy yeah. in one move. Yeah. Which I don't think I can do because they're coming from too far away. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. So now these these ties are going to shoot the damage. Yeah. Just to and they get an damage. extra dice for Hellrunner. Because how? Because yeah. Hellrunner's, Hellrunner's in range one. now. Um, ooh, they land three hits, three which hits, is enough which to is kill. Enough. So that's destroyed. Whammo. Just like the movie, the Y wings <laughs> die first. Always. Why would you not? <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Killed, killed a Y wing. That's the tie's job, isn't it? Mm, um, sure is, pal. So that's the victory's order done. Now he's going to move on to the shooting phase. Yep. Um, and he's definitely going to shoot that Corvette. Yep. Um, and what else can he? 
So you can shoot it in its side or so, its front, but it doesn't really matter on the call there. Look at that, you are just out of range. I can't shoot your big ship. Space pickle! Space pickle! Oh, damn you, space pickle! Let's see if my medium range can shoot. Oh, and look, your fighters are just out. It's like you've planned it. You've <laughs> Everything's like just out Cunning. of range. So I guess I'll just you make my- You thought I was a noob, <laughs> but so really, no. Really, I yeah. just managed to be I just out of range lucked. of everything. Yeah, I completely lucked out. <laughs> That's all right. So I'll take one good shot. Yep, at um, the Corvette. At the Corvette. Now I want to be in medium range to get my ion cannons as well. So you're going to have to hit it in the front. So I'm going to have to shoot really. in the front because your side is just, just out. out. Yeah. So it's three yeah. blue and three red. And that's on the Corvette, isn't it? On the front it? of the Corvette. So on medium range, mm -hmm. I can spend an invade to force you to re-roll a dice. That's right. Right. Whereas at long range, you can make me discard a dice. Yes. So do you want me to take so that? So the you closer are? the Corvette gets, the more vulnerable it becomes. Um, I've rolled pretty badly here. There we go. So, so I've got two blanks. A hit, a crit, and a double hit. Ooh. And one accuracy. accuracy. So this is a tough choice for me now. I can... Spend this accuracy mm. to stop you redirecting, mm -hmm. which would be great because it means all your damage would then hit that side of the hull. Yep. Or all hit the front. You can't spread it out. Yep. But it means you can then spend an evade to make me reroll this double hit. Yes. I'm not going to roll another double hit. No, really. Probably not. Or I could spend this to get rid of the to lock down your evade, evade and then I can distribute the but damage. But then you can redirect the damage. Dun 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 dun. dun How lucky dun, do, dun, I dun, dun, do I feel? Do I feel lucky on the reroll? Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> I'm going to lock out the redirect. Yep. So you can spend an evade. So I will. <laughs> you spend your other evade. And I will lock, um, force you to re-roll the double. Uh, it's a single. It's a single. It's actually so still pretty good. It's not bad, yeah. It's, so it's that's three hits. Three hits to your front. Um, which uh, I can... That's um, what I was hoping for. When I locked out the redirects, I thought, if I can get a critical hit through to the hull, that could be really good. So right. I just take three on the front, don't mm -hmm. I? So I take two. So two shields down on the front, and it has no more shields on the front, so now it takes a hull damage. It takes eight. And because critical. I rolled a critical hit, that hull damage is dealt. A special card. A special effect. It is Thruster Fisher, which we had in our demo we game. We did have in the demo game. Um, when you ch whenever your Corvette changes its speed, it suffers one additional damage. Oh, good. The I'm glad that I are... sped that ship up then. <laughs> yeah. so okay. that, was, that was a good shot. Good shot, yes. sir. Um, and he's going to speed two, so he's just going to like... Well, you do have a token if you want to adjust the speed. I can slow down, but you don't want this to. gets me into the into range of the station, which yeah. will give me points. But it is also potentially going to block my Star Destroyer's move. Mm. If I go slower, it gives him a clearer move, and he's probably going to grab the station. Probably. But you might grab the station too. Because it's whoever has the most command range. Yes. So if he comes into range, you'll have three from that and one from that, so you'll have four. Yep. So I would need both of my guys in to cancel To cancel that out. But I don't want to block my move. This guy needs a straight move. So I'm going to spend my navigate token. I'm going to go down to speed one. I'm going to make a small turn. Oh, and I might still be in range to claim the station, actually. Look. Uh, oh, I in. think you are just out, my friend. If that's there. Yeah, yeah you're oh. right. Just, oh, like a millimeter off. Wargaming millimeters <laughs> right there. <laughs> millimeters that's count. That's the classic game. Um, cool, so that's it. I've just got my Star Destroyer to go, and it's your turn. I am going to... I think we've got to move the big Space Pickle. I think Space Pickle is the one to go. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I kind of regret this because I forgot I had the token. I uh, changed him to be a thing. So Leia told him to navigate. But he was already. But he didn't navigate. actually really need that navigate. But the, if I use the command dial, it does mean you I can, can still save the token. I get the extra click and, as well. Yeah, more maneuverable turn. Which I think is what I'm going to do. Okay, well, before we start moving, yep. you shoot first. Shoot first. So what have you got in the range? So. Uh, now, do fr friendly ships, I'm guessing, still block line of sight. They do, but they don't completely block it. They reduce your firepower reduce by, one by one But I think I might actually be able to hit your rear on Ooh. these frigates. Look, so you've definitely got the arc, so but have you got the line of sight, which is dot to dot. So, um, your so dot that's the side. Dot. Let's get it high enough so that everything's... Yeah, and it's so a bit wobbly. It. It's a bit wobbly, but, but that's a clear, that's a clear line, of, line sight. of sight. But have you got the range? I'm not around? going to... Yeah, you've got the range. Just. Oh, oh no, actually. So this is an interesting little facet of the rules. When you're measuring gun range, you mm -hmm. measure from the cardboard of your thing to the cardboard of my thing, thing. Yeah, not the, the plastic, plastic bases. So, so I actually think you're out of... Out of. I I'm not, out if of I was hitting the front or the you side... You can hit the side. The side is actually in range, but the rear is just like... That slight angle is putting well, you out. Well, but... Now, do I still block line of sight on the, uh, the side? I think, yeah, I think basically you've got an obstructed shot. Yeah. Yeah, because it's going to clip so through a little bit of you can shoot me in the side, um, but the rear is literally a millimetre out of Okay, range. 
Well, we're gonna shoot you in the side. It'll be an obstructed shot. I'm not gonna use Akbar's ability again because I can't, I wanna shoot forward arc as well. Although I don't have Well, I don't think, because your forward shot is gonna be I'm obstructed gonna be by that anyway. transport. And you're not at medium range, which means no. you only roll one dice. One dice, actually, yeah, that that's the whole point. All right, in that case, we will use Akbar's ability and I'll add an extra two red dice. Okay, so, so at long range, the, the pickle rolls three red dice normally. Plus I get to add and two for Akbar. Akbar adds two. So, and your blue dice are not in range, so this is a, like a long range this volley. This is just a long range volley, but I take one away because my ship's yes. blocking it. So four red dice. Four red dice. Um, Into the, the shield. The shields are down on that side of my Two crits thing. and two hits. Ooh, okay, well luckily, the Kazanti cruisers have got the scatter. So at long Damn range, it. they're very hard to hit because they just scatter and nothing hits them. Oh. Um, once I get into shorter ranges, you roll then three extra blue dice, and the blue dice have loads of accuracies on them. Yeah. So you're, you can lock that token lock out. Lock it in down. But at long range, it's, it's hard to land that accuracy. Well, it was worth shooting for anyway. Oh yeah, because you could have got an accuracy was, on one of those yeah. dice. And, then and also nothing dead. else is really in range to do, so. No. Mm -hmm. So that was it shooting done first. Mm -hmm. Now it's movement. Um, I'm going to uh, slow it down, and then if you can pass me the wind You can stick, do two clicks. I can do two clicks, and I can even do these on ones that I can't normally, but at speed well, there's one only speed. Well, there's only one place to click. So basically you can hard hard left or hard right. Oh, that's going to clip me there. But you're going to be hard pushed not to ram your Corvette. Yeah, I think I'm going to ram the Corvette regardless. So there's one thing you can do. Yeah. Um, you could spend your token as well as your dial yep. and reduce your so speed, speed to by zero. two to speed to zero, which means obviously you wouldn't move and you wouldn't ram your Corvette. Yeah. The downside of that is if you are shot at while at speed zero, zero. Yep. you cannot spend your defense tokens because mm. you're like dead in the water. Mm. Now, if I happen to clip the Corvette, I go back a speed. You do, yeah. Mm. And you both take a damage. We both take a damage. So I wouldn't go anywhere anyway. But you wouldn't count as being speed zero. That's because true. your engines are running, you are moving. Yeah. So turning your engines off will prevent you damage now, but might cause you more damage in the long run. <sighs> would that only be for the rest of this turn? It's while you are at speed zero. Damn so, so you would have, have to, to wait speed until up. he navigates again up to speed one. Could mm. I, I could speed up. You could go up to two. And see if I could get. I don't think you can I clear him. I don't think I physically can, can I? So oh, hang on. You would have to put another click in. Oh, that could work. Actually, I think it might be right. By the time I actually click it in, it'll be yeah, like that. you might just clear him. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so before we do anything, so um, I'm going to hold him down so he doesn't get nudged. This is the important part. Like, if I put a finger on each one, they're not going to get in fact, nudged. Actually, he's already at speed two. I don't yeah. need to spend the token. Well, you're spending the dial to add the extra. That's navigate. it. Yeah, that's true. The extra turn. So let's try this. So. Okay, now. Okay, so that's in now. Oh, this X wing's going to get overrun, so we'll move him out of the way. So yeah, that's right, isn't it? Oh man, precision maneuvering. Go on, Akbar. Eh. Oh man, I know, because you overlapped your own X-Wing. Yes, you I get, get to, to place, place him. him. Yeah. Now I'm going to be a bit tricksy about this, because I know that your transport's going to try and push fighters. What? No! So if I put this X-Wing down where he's out of range of that no. transport. No! No! Yeah, no, yeah. he's going to go there, so that the transport can't support him. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, cool. Well, and I didn't even need to spend my token no, to do that. No, you've got your token for next turn. Yeah. That is good maneuvering. I didn't think you that could was... uh, pull that off. Well, to be honest, neither did I, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> kind of balls that one up and then managed to pull it back. And now you've got the sweet broadsides pointing in uh, both directions. That's kind of the idea now, yeah. That, that maneuver's called the, can... the Akbar Slash. The Akbar, yeah. The Akbar tight parking space. <laughs> yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Right, so you've just got your uh, big boy so to now, go. Uh, yeah, and then you've got your transport. And right. my transport, and then it's squadrons. So uh, my big boy is doing a navigate. Yep. Um, this is going to mess all of these ships yeah, up, Yeah, this, isn't this it? is going to get messy. It's going to get real messy. Um, so before he moves, he's going to take his shot. He's at long range of both the Corvette and the, the cruiser. Yeah, I um, should save that evade. He hasn't got anything in his sides. So I've got to choose. Am I going to flak the fighters? Am I going to shoot the Corvette? Am I going to shoot the... A big guy. And I've only got three red dice because I've chosen the short range Star Destroyer. No, I'm going to focus down that, that Corvette because he's little already Corvette. lost his front shields. He does. So maybe I can, uh, I can push through. But you can't through. hit his front. Oh, you could hit I his front shields. Hit his yeah, front. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's actually got a wide front. It's got a, it's big got a deceptively front. wide front. So let's do that. Okay. Let's shoot the Corvette with three, three reds. It's an accuracy and a hit. So you're going to spend that so accuracy, to, accuracy lock out my... to lock out your redirect. So I just take a hit. Um, but you can 
spend an evade to cancel that hit. I can't spend an evade. I use them both. Well, that's the thing about defense tokens. You oh, use I could, them once. Because then I could, it would go and away they come, forever. Yeah, so a defense token that's spent comes back next turn. Oh, for one hit. If you spend a defense token a second time, it's gone forever. I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather wait until I'm like really hurting to do that. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Okay, so even though I'm probably not going to be in short range, but I might be able to fly away. So it's one hit to the hull. On yeah. The so the hull, now you're taking two hull hits. You've only got two hull remaining. Yeah, Corvette's it's... in trouble. Yeah, maybe I should spend it now. Uh, I'm going to spend it now. <laughs> okay, so the Corvette's actually burning one of its evade tokens forever. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't think it's going to last much longer, so I might as well do it now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, um, so that's my shooting. Now I'm on to moving. Yes. Um, this is going to be messy. Yeah, let's do that. So this is my final move. I'm plotting in. Yep. It will take me to here. But you'd get knocked which rams back. Us. So we both take ram damage. Yep. And then I get knocked back a speed to here. And then can you remove all the fighters that this guy's hovering over? So. Yeah, it lands on the station. Move two, and then these two. So, and then you get to place these. All where, of them. All of them, oh. as long as they their bases are touching my base. Oh. So you can split up this combat and give your Y wings like a free run. Yeah, let's see you later, boys. And then it's just my transport to go. Uh, yep. Which I think I did right. That's actually squadrons? worked out well. It was squadrons, but I think I was too far away. But now, but I now think I, I pushed am. them closer to you. <laughs> Yay! Boo. Not all of them, I don't think. How many? Just the one, is it? Just the one, I think. Oh, and he's Boy, the one who's engaged. Yeah. Which is annoying. So maybe you don't want to use it. Yeah, because I can just take the token. Although it's already got the, the token on there. Yeah, you basically just keep just the token. Just keep the token. Mm. Yeah, because like... So if you wait till the squadron phase, you can move the hawk. That's over. what I'm thinking. I'm going to do. So I'll just replace mm. the replace the thing. Yeah, because I moved this X-wing out of the way. You were going to activate him as well, but and it has no guns. Yeah. Well, it can um, it can flack my ties. Oh, it has got yeah, it's got one black dice. So, so I will do black that. dice that tie. One hit. It's a hit. Two damage. Why not? Eh. And then it goes to squadrons, but you get to go first on this. Uh, oh, this oh, is no, got to move. Then the transport moves. So it's You're only going. going it's going at speed one. Getting a bit tight around here though, so I might just go there for now. Mm, okay. Because I can't really get away while this mess. <laughs> Can you jump? God, I'm so bad at like spatial stuff. That's pure luck that that. Oh god. And now he's that, pointed right at an asteroid. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> just we're ideal. gonna hit that asteroid. <laughs> like Akbar's gone. Like, look, we're hitting the asteroid. Stop talking about <laughs> it, all right? We've got broadside ready. We are where we are. Boy. <laughs> just, 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 just deal, deal with, with it. it. <laughs> just deal with it. Okay, so then we're into squadrons phase. Yep. So most of my squadrons have already activated at this point. I think he has activated. The only one that you the haven't... The one I haven't done is the, this, this guy, guy over here. So he's yes. just going to take a shot at hand, because that's all he can do. Yeah. Um, he's going to roll his three dice. He's going to land three hits. Oh, well... Which is pretty good. I, I will brace. You can brace for impact. So I lose down one. Down to half. Um, so it takes two. It takes two more, so he's down to four health. Oh, Han, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> you got to be dealing more damage, son. We um, need to get you some support. So now, what have so we got now it's two basically Y wings and the hawk. The hawk and this oh, and set that X wing. Yeah. Cool. So now, because it's the squadron phase, yes, and they're not they activating. They can only move or shoot. Move or shoot. Yes. So this is what this is going to do. The hawk mm -hmm. is going to move. Yeah. So he's going to come and engage. Uh, he's basically my ties over here. Shall I get a shot of this? Yeah. Don't know if the overhead cam is going to catch it. So look, here we've got these tie fighters here are preventing these Y-Wings from making a bombing run because they've got yep. them tied up in a dogfight. But so the, hawk. the Hawk can move in. And I don't think I'm going to be tr too clever with his placement. I'm kind of going to just move in. Bring him in there. So the Hawk's got like some kind of like, basically... It's got like a turret. It's, it's like got, harassing. It's harassing. It's got this sort of intel ability, yeah. which means that fighter now no longer locks enemies down. It's, it's like blocking their scanners or something. Yeah. I don't know. So that's going to be his movement. Mm -hmm. And that's it, because he can't shoot this turn. Mm -hmm. This set of X-Wing, this X-Wing... going to come in to help Han. It's going to come in and sort of just try and engage these guys. I'm going to actually mm -hmm. move him over to this side. So he's going to go there. That's him done. Mm -hmm. The Y-Wings, though, are going to try and do some damage. Run. So it's got no shields on that side. Yeah, that's the side that I hit into the debris and then you shot a bit. Uh, so the Y-Wings, they roll one... Um, Ordnance one, each. Yeah, one black When attacking dice. a ship, uh, each of my critical icons adds one damage, um, mm -hmm. and it can still be a critical hit. That's right, Plus, normally fighters can't do criticals. Bombing command center. While a friendly squadron with bomber at distance 1-5 is attacking, it may re-roll one dice, so I get yeah. to re-roll this. So you remember that bit in um, A New Hope where they're all sat in the Yavin War, war Room looking yep. at the table? Yeah. You've got them on the transport, they're like, telling the bombers where to bomb. So the first bomber... Mm -hmm. Is oh, two damage. Hit. That's two damage and a crit, because okay. it's no shields. So I'm going to use my brace. Yep. I'm going to take that down to uh, one. one damage. Yep. And I'm going to um, Negate use crit. my contain token. Yep. 
uh, to turn that into a regular hit, hit instead so of a crit. So you just take, so just take uh, one, damage. one damage. But I'm running low on defense tokens now. And now the second bomber comes in. Mm -hmm. A oh, crit another and a hit, hit again. I was oh. going to be like, if I get a blank, I'll re-roll it, but I'm not going to okay. re-roll well, it. I don't want to discard any of my tokens. Yep. So here we go. I've already spent that on the, against the Corvette and then those two against the last bomber. I don't want to get rid of any of these yet. It's too early in the game. So I'm going to use this green token here to redirect the two damage onto the rear hull. Yep, so it just takes destroyer. the the, um, the shields down to zero. Uh, so now I have no shields on the side or the rear. Goo. Goo. Oh, I managed to slide your Y wings over. And then. They're done. Oh, that's the end of the turn. That is the end of turn two. two. <laughs> wow. wow. So, yeah, the Star Destroyer's taking a fair bit of damage. It's, I'm trying um, to get some hits so in early. But you have the higher command rating around the station. No, I don't know if I do. Is your, is your command count? I don't range? think it is within one. You're right. So it's, it's just not. three to one. Yeah. So I get a victory token this turn. Well, it's three to two because they're oh, yeah, the transports yeah, yeah, you're right. there, so You've got but... two and I've got three. Yep. So yeah, Darth Vader Star Destroyer is just like, get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, ships. 